happy thankful tuesday wherever you're in the world this is just like speaking i thank you just for life health and strength thank you for seeing another day those of you all who are going to work those of you all who are going in the gym good morning good morning good morning all right grab a notebook grab a pen grab whatever you have right and let us get started we are going into ecclesiastes chapter 5 1 to 20 and then we are going into the healthy hair care tips for everyone chapter 15 i'll be talking about baby hair care right so those of you all who have children who have toddlers babes and thing this is for you all okay so it's all is an all pack filled program but let us pray Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this day, Father. We thank you for every single thing. I pray in the name of Jesus, Father, Lord, that this video will impact people's lives all around the world in America, Caribbean. I pray, Father, Lord, that you touch and and have a head around their lives, Father, Lord, that, Father, Lord, they will know, Father, Lord, that you are the one in control. So I'm about to bring your scripture word, about to bring your lecture session. I pray, Father, Lord, it will inspire and motivate them to change around their lives so they better and be a best version of themselves and love themselves more in you, Father, Lord, because there's only one life to live in you, Father, Lord. And, Lord, Father, Lord, let the transformations and transitions of people, Father, Lord, start, Father, Lord, right now by the blood of the blood of Jesus, Father, Lord. Open the windows of heaven and pour out your blessing, Father, Lord, amongst your people, Father, Lord, that, Father, Lord, can contain the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, the Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, Amen. So I'm looking very wonderful today in my pink and black today. So you all, God is good all the time, all the time God is good, but let us get started. All right, we are going into Ecclesiastes chapter 5. Those of you all who don't have a Bible, you can follow me through. But God is good all the time, okay? So Ecclesiastes chapter 5, 1 to 20, right? I have on my light on today, okay? So let us read. Keep your foot, give your mind to what you are doing when you go, as Jacob to sacred battle to the house of God. For to draw near to hear and obey is better than to give the sacrifice of fools. Carelessly, reverently, too ignorant to know that they are doing evil. Genesis 35, 1 to 4, Exodus 3, 5. Be not rash with your mouth, and let not your heart be hasty to utter a word before God. For God is in heaven, God is in heaven, and you are upon earth. Therefore, let your words be few. For a dream comes with much business and painful effort, and a fool's voice with many words. When you vow a vow or make a pledge to God, do not put off paying it, for God has no pleasure in fools, those who witlessly mock him. Pay what you vow. Psalms 50, 14, 76, 11, 66, 13, 14. It is better that you should not vow than that you should vow and not pay. Proverbs 20, 25, Acts 5, 4. Do not allow your mouth to cause your body to sin and do not say before the messenger the priest that it was an error or mistake why should god be made angry at your voice and destroy the works of your hands malachi 2 7 so god is saying to us saints of god that we ought to not mock god we ought to not be false pretends but in all things pray right do not be ignorant in well-doing do not be ignorant and do evil right do not be not rash in your mouth and let not your heart be hasty because that's too many times Christian people let's get carried away, carried away by this world, and they're not they're forgetting all about Jesus Christ. So do not forget Jesus Christ, right? Always remember He's the Creator, He's the Maker, He's the Miracle Worker, He's the Way Maker. He make a way for you in the wilderness. He can make a way for you in your life, right? So it's saying it's better that you should not vow. So you should not vow to vile things. You should not vow to unveil things. You should not vow to vanity things. All you could vow to is to Jesus Christ. Dedicate your life, devote your life to Jesus Christ today, and he will create in you and make you clean and pure and whiter than snow. Okay? Right? So why should God be made angry at your voice and destroy the work of your hands? For in a multitude of dreams there is futility and worthlessness and ruin in a flood of words. 
So you must watch your words. You must guard your mouth. Saints of God, guard your mouth. Right? Not every single thing you'll talk. Sometimes you have to be silent and think over things. What you're doing in life. Okay? But do you reverently fear God. Know he is rever revere and worship him. So revere means to praise and worship him. Right? Reverently in your life. If this is a relevant. This is a relevant aspect in your life. To do that. Right? If you see the oppression of the poor and the violent taken away. Justice and righteousness in the state of or province do not marvel at the matter be sure that there are those who will attend to it far higher and than the higher than the highest observing and higher ones are over them moreover the profit of the earth is for all the king himself is served by the field and in all a king is an advantage to a land with cultivated fields so moreover the profit of the earth so we right are born to handle situations we are born for greatness we are born for, for justice we are born for praising the lord and worshiping him right because when you worship jesus christ you are a change individual right coming back to this is that moreover the prophet of the earth is for all right so the king himself the king of kings and lord of us right is the one that give providing you and cultivating the fields for you and giving you crops and giving you things to grow and all these things because all these things come from the lord be fruitful and multiply right he who loves silver will not be satisfied with silver nor he who loves gold he who loves abundance with gain sorry this also is vanity so this is always vanity silver and gold right when goods increase they who eat them increase also and what gain is there to their owner except to see them with his eyes right the sleep of a laboring man is sweet, whether he eats little or much, but the fullness of the rich will not let him sleep. So when you're becoming rich, right, the rich don't study the poor again, right? Everybody wants to be higher than everybody. What shall it profit a man, okay? The sleep of a laboring man, right? Verse 13, there is a serious and severe evil which I have seen under the sun. Riches were kept by their owner to his hood, but those riches are lost by a bad venture, and he becomes the father of a son, that, and there is nothing in his hand which, which do support the child. So those of you all know that Jesus Christ, saints of God, burden of God, people of God, people in general, right, who love the Lord and faithfully trust and believe on the Lord, that you put your faith and trust. God will increase your, your finances. God will increase everything. So despite what you're going through, whatever you're going through, you call upon Jesus Christ. You call upon Jesus Christ and answer him, and he will answer you, right? He knows what he's doing in your life. He will multiply your finances. He will multiply whatever small you have to bigger, because he has bigger plans and greater plans for your life. And receive that now, because plenty of people who, plenty of people who tune into this, right will be able to get financial overflow you get a call from your boss you'll get a call from contracts big big contracts that you never ever sign up for god is going to put you at the forefront god is going to put you at the forefront in the music in the music industries god is going to put you at the forefront in the professional life right god is going to put you when when you were in the back God is going to upgrade you. God is going to elevate you. God is going to accelerate you. So receive that now. And you will see calls coming in by beyond from now until next wherever. Right? Because God will want to open you. God wants to open your wisdom. God wants to open your knowledge. And God wants to test you in this season. Right? He's going to put you in, in kings, kingdoms. He's going to put you on and you will be reigning forevermore. Right? He's a guy, he's a shield, he's a redeemer, he's a friend, he's everything to you. So his jobs, cars, houses, keys, every single thing. Right? Receive that today. And thank God and bless God and praise the Lord when you get your blessing. Right? Your blessing is come like a catapult testimony for somebody else. Right? So, as a man came forth from his mother's womb, so he will go again. Naked as he came, I will take away nothing for all his labor, which he may carry in his hand. Right? And this also is a serious and severe evil that at all points, as he came, so shall he go. And what gain has he that labored for the wind? First Timothy 6.6 6. 
all his days also he eats is in darkness jealousy with no sweetness and light in them and much sorrow and sickness and wrath are his behold what i have seen to be good and fitting is for one to eat to drink and find enjoyment in all the labor in which he labors under the sun right all the days which god give him so god give us supply god always supply all our needs right but sometimes we have to store the little to get the bigger right anytime you cannot handle and manage a small thing god is not going to give you a big thing because you have to make sure and handle that right and store that and multiply that and then god will give you the rest god will add it to you right when you seek him first because the possessions what we have is is god right is not of us god give us that god provided us with all the necessities in this land right but god is going to expand and it will have an impact right he going to expand and make room that is what he's doing in this season access the only way to salvation is through jesus christ the only way to access in all the benefits all the expanded or every single thing is to get to know jesus christ and god is going to expand god is moving god is moving swiftly rapidly clairvoyantly right every single thing is happening for a cause thank the lord and praise the lord that you're still alive because it has some people that pass on to the other right and they are still in your prayers right they are still doing some things right that people don't understand right god is grateful god is merciful god is loving kind of thank you lord jesus thank you lord thank you lord thank you lord jesus thank you lord thank you lord thank you lord thank you lord i just love jesus christ i just love to praise him and worship him see when you have an unction for the lord jesus christ you are a different change in the video and the lord okay those of you all in the back of the side wherever you are listen to this last verse for he shall not much remember seriously the days of his life because god himself answers and corresponds to the joy of his heart that tranquility of god is mirrored in him right so this is saying that in closing that we not supposed to be selfish individuals in the body of christ we're supposed to be fearing lord we're supposed to be worshiping and, re and reverencing him because all what he's doing in our life we have to be thankful and grateful for what we have we have to store the small to get the bigger okay i know i'm seeing in the spirit realm i'm seeing things plenty things changing up in the atmosphere god is working on your behalf god is working god is we are arranging god is revived god is accelerating people right now god is get ready in positions all pastors are going to be saved all evangelists are going to save every single thing is tooling up like a twirling wind right god is blowing in your situation god is breathing into that and burning that burning businesses burning contracts burning jobs burning new things is a new beginning a new opportunity is a new opportunity but in order for us to get the new opportunity we have to purify our minds purify our hearts transformations transition into what god wants you to be right you cannot have the old you we don't you cannot have the old way of thinking you have to re renew your mindset by eating healthy by staying on god's word by depending on god listening to the voice of allow the holy spirit saints of god because god is doing something new in your life right you cannot go back in the old ways that was just a transformation that was just a lesson to be learned but sometimes we have to learn our lessons and it will be hard it will be hard in the body of christ to do that but yes it will be all worth it it will be all self worth it right loving yourself more in the godly man god is getting ready right for marriages god is getting ready to prepare the bride for you and prepare a table in the front of your enemies god is getting ready so receive that and that is confirmation to plenty people in america to plenty people in the caribbean 
God is rearranging. God is closing doors that no man can shut. God is rearranging in life who have to stay and who have to go. Right? God is doing that. Right? Because you cannot, you cannot feed upon new soil. Right? If you have an old way of thinking and an old way of living. Okay? You have to get rid of that old way of thinking by purifying, by repenting. And then come into the, the, uh, the alignment with God. Right? God is upgrading you. It's an upgrade that God is giving you. He's not downgrading you. He's upgrading you to stewardship. Upgrading you to leadership. Upgrading you. Right? Upgrading you and your family. Upgrading you and your family to relocations. Upgrading you and your family to peace love and unity once again god is all around the world god is all around the world right now angels are working in your favor allow the angels to work allow god to work through your life so you will see god's hand in your life you will see the impact that god is making in your life you will see that jesus christ is real okay so in closing allow god to work allow god to work okay so let us pray heavenly father we just thank you for this prophetic word we thank you for this scriptural word and this powerful word that you gave into me thank you lord holy spirit i pray that many people in america and, and caribbean will get it in their brains Father lord that father lord you are the one that father lord they will be prepared for what is coming to them that they will know that Jesus Christ is a blessing to them. That they will know that the blessing comes from the Lord. Abundance coming, access, evil, elevation, acceleration, victories. Father Lord Jesus, you wake up people's minds and hearts to know that they will have to turn from the wicked ways. According to 2 Chronicles 7.14. Because Father Lord, let them humble themselves and pray before you, Father Lord, and know that you are real. So, Father Lord, as about to bring you about to bring a lecture session, I pray that plenty of people will get this and it will touch people's lives. It will touch people's lives. And Father Lord, you, Father Lord, open contracts in people's favor. Open the windows of heaven and pour out your blessing. Open opportunities. Open, relocate them, Father Lord. Right now is relocations. Right now in the spirit, Father Lord. In the spirit realm, Father Lord. I'm seeing, Father Lord, that you are relocating plenty of people in America to different states, different countries. And Father Lord, they will be having impact. You are providing every single thing for them. Food, clothes, and shelter, Father Lord. You are providing things that, Father Lord, the kingdom, only the kingdom of Jesus Christ, only the people, the body of Christ, the kings and queens of the body of Christ, reigning forever more, will get, Father Lord, positions. You are positioning them for greatness. You are positioning them, them right now. Contracts are signed. Everything, Father Lord, people are getting big impact in the body of Christ. In the industries, Father Lord, music, professionalism, teaching, library, wherever, Father Lord, whatever profession, Father Lord, they are getting upgrades in the life again, again, windfall of cash in their houses, Father Lord, by the emails, Father Lord, calls, Father Lord, are coming around among the scene by the song of my voice. So, Father Lord, as about to bring everything care, Father Lord, I pray, Father Lord, this would be a blessing to the hearts in the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord, Amen. So, I hope this prophetic word Right now it's an effect, right, from now until beyond, right? But God is working in your life. God is doing something new in your life. So receive that and get ready to see it, okay? So now we are going on to the chapter 15, baby hair care. So those of you all who have young ones, parents, you can listen to it, right? So, baby hair care. So, baby hair care says, right? is that take dog notes it used to be very limited only johnson and johnson or baby magic 
carried a line of strictly far baby hair products many body washes could be used on the hair as it is gentle for all the baby sensitive skin now you have so many options so this i will give you some options right so johnson and johnson is is the product for babies right and baby magic carried a line so all of these right are very good for your babies here okay it will be able to smooth and soothe it properly right but you could use it too some people will use baby shampoo still right number one it says johnson and johnson baby hair care baby shampoo is still a favorite it gently cleanses a baby's hair and is safe for you to use it right baby magic wash to use on baby to use on baby and children's hair so you could use it on from your fair children here your kids here and johnson also offers baby shampoo with natural lavender for calming nighttime bath so it have different products in johnson and johnson they have the you want to take care of your hair take care of your skin right yourself right in the general right so use that today number two number two is and um, baby right so taking care okay so it's mom and baby sorry the French yet affordable brand often great and baby products including some here right it is extremely moisturized and very gentle on even the baby skin and for their hair of in including coconut oil oatmeal oatmeal sheep butter and calendar right so this is a different type of thing right this will moisturize and gently straighten the baby skin from head to toe it includes coconut oil which is soothing oatmeal shea butter and it will cleanse your baby from head to toe that will have a shiny look right number three this last number three baby hair care products of for adults right of adults the aviana baby wash and shampoo can be used not only for the baby right but for moms also so moms could use it so moms you could use it right for yourself too right it is also it also can be used on baby adults at the newly packaged Johnson's. they are light they are small and great and they really do tangle they also moisturize and give a nine natural hole so this will be able to take care of your baby and children right so no matter what it is remember so just recapping i hope this baby hair care introduction um and baby hair care products will be able to help you all out those of you are first time moms congratulations those of you all who are now making congratulations right because you're building something in in this life and god is building things in our lives for the better right but coming back right just recapping we dealt up with today ecclesiastes chapter 5 1 to 20 and explain to you all that god is doing something new i gave a prophetic word also and then we went on into healthy hair care tips for everyone and i dealt up with moms right baby hair care right and how to help out your babies and thing because babies and children kids could use it too even adults could use it right so i hope this lecture session will be a blessing to us but let us close it all out heavenly father we just thank you for this short nice sweet video i pray for the name of yes for lord that this for the lord session father of babies ak will help people across the world who have babies in american caribbean and children that father lord they will take off their hair that father lord you are the one in control father lord all natural is good father lord and all natural is the way to go and father lord i just thank you lord yes to come into your presence every single morning father lord to give a devotional and father lord a lecture i pray father lord there will be an impact in people's lives that people know father lord you father lord as well as you and they will love themselves more and father lord they will children will be nice and looking nice father lord and father lord you are the one father lord will help them father lord, to succeed in life 
So about to leave for Lord, give them a thankful Thursday and work in gym wherever they are in you. And their bed, for Lord, still watching TV or wherever they are. That for Lord, you cover them by the blood of Jesus, for Lord. That for Lord, you touch them, for Lord. Touch them, for the Lord. Heal them and birth into them, for Lord. And you a new thing for the lord that you are doing for the lord, behind the scenes for the lord that allow them for the lord to wait on you and depend on you and stop going in diverse places stop going back in the past but for the lord they will look forward for the lord to the new beginnings and the new things that you have in store for them for the lord so about to leave for the lord allow the holy spirit for the lord open the windows of heaven and pour out your blessing in the name of jesus christ oh lord amen so this is the end right this is the end of the video right i hope you were very enthusiastic about that but always remember love jesus first put god first in all things and allow him to transform your life okay so you have a blessed day i'll see you all tomorrow always be thankful for what you have right and never ever give up in life and know that jesus christ loves you and cares for you okay because without Jesus Christ in our lives, we are nothing, right? So, be thankful, be grateful, right? And always love yourself. Always take care of yourself, men and women and children. And you have your kids looking good too, just as you, right? Inside out, right? Take care of, let them take care of their hair. Take care of yourself. You see, when you take care of yourself, and you do your exercise and you eat your fruits and vegetables and you have yourself in order and you're going on in the word of god and you're depending upon jesus christ every single thing will come in alignment and in agreement in life and every every doors will open but when you don't have jesus christ you are a lost soul you are a lost soul so when you get to know jesus christ you make him lord and savior and friend and you will see plenty things happening okay so love you all with the love of jesus and i'll see you all tomorrow please lord okay bye